another window. Is this clear? Can you please raise the hands if, if this is clear? Good. Now, the next point I want to have within this, okay? I go to the notepad, uh, I click this edit, replace, right? It is showing find what, replace with, right? All these uh, commands. Now, somehow, I, I don't have the window definitions of all these things. About notepad, I don't have all the window definitions. Suppose I want to go to this, uh, I type something over here and then I say find window, this window definition is not there. There is a concept called GUI mapping, okay? There are eight different concepts in any tool. First concept is recording that we have seen. By the way, the two slashes are comments, okay? Replaying. First concept is recording. Second concept is replaying that we have seen. I can run the replay with delay or without delay. It is up to you, right? Now, the third point that we would like to show here is object or say GUI mapping, right? In my screen, it is showing untitled dash, dash notepad, right? Whereas here, it is showing notepad, right? I'm going to record the same thing in a different project, see what happens. I'm closing this one. I'm closing this project also, okay? I'm going to create a new project, okay? File, I create a new project, okay? Create a project, I say project name is uh, Notepad project, okay? I click on it. It is creating a new project. Just watch. I'm going to record the same Notepad thing, okay? Just watch. This is very, very important. This property of object mapping or this feature is extremely important. Now, I'm going to record another test case in this project in the same Notepad. I go to font, click on font, 28, I do this. I go to edit, replace, A, B, C, D, E, F, okay, X, Y, Z, M, N, O. I check and then uncheck, cancel, I do done. Then I paste it to editor. This time it is asking, paste test case only or paste test case and update window declarations. This is very important. This window declarations is the key part. When I click on this wind, always try to do this update window declarations. What does it mean? Now I am maximizing this window. You could see something called this test script. Whatever we have done, it is a and you will see one more window. There is something called when you see this window, it is, this is saying frame.inc, INC stands for include file, okay? Frame.inc, this is also a file. There are two files, one is this file, another is the test case file, one is a frame file, another is a script file. Now watch here, it is saying untitled notepad. In the previous recording, it was very clearly saying notepad. Now, when I record brand new, because I was doing something on this machine, so I did something. Now, the moment I create a brand new project and starts rec I start recording this, it is saying untitled notepad. I don't like this name. I want to have, say, notepad main win, okay? I want to have that kind of a name. Suppose I go here. I don't like this name, untitled notepad. I just remove notepad. Uh, main window, notepad MW, this is what I want. I don't want something called untitled notepad. Okay, notepad main window, everywhere it happens like this. I just change it. I just changed it. Now I save this. I say 
S1. Okay. I added it. Let me run it. Just watch. When I run, it is saying, it is giving me a syntax error. Variable notepad main window is not defined. When I click on it, it is showing right on the first line. This vary, this is looking like a variable. I don't see this at all. The reason is, whenever the test is getting executed, it always refers to the frame.inc file. In the frame, we changed the title as notepad main window only in the script, but we have not changed it in the inc file. People who are familiar with QTP, this inc file, right? Right? This inc file is like a object repository. Okay? I made a change in the script, but I did not make a change in my inc file. inc file is the one that remembers window declarations. That means, what is the window name, what are the objects within the window. For example, this is the main window, untitled notepad. Somewhere you will see called a multi-tag, somewhere you will see simply tag, right? There is something called a multi-tag. Somewhere you will see dollar sign, something starts with dollar sign. What is it? This is exactly the same as QTP's object repository. This is exactly the same as GUI mapping of WinRunner. Everywhere the window information must be stored. Silk test stores the window information here. If you change a name in the script, you should change the name here also. So I have to go and then change here. Then I have to change the name here, right? Then I have to change the name here also. You will see something called a multi-tag which is like a text. Somewhere you see dollar sign 11531041 something like that. This meaning the text or attached text on the screen is size, the internal ID, Windows ID is this. So the silk text notation of noting down the text is multi-tag, noting down the other parameters is ID. ID starts with dollar sign. Okay. So once I make a change and then save, I go back to the script. Let me run it once again. Let me try to run. Okay. I try to run it. Now it is not showing an error. The moment it shows this window, that means it is ready to run, there is no syntax error. Now I click run. This time it is able to run it very, very fast without any issues. Now it shows, of course, you may not be able to see uh, that animation of what I am trying to get over here in my machine because the internet streaming speed is not that high. Okay, But you will definitely see this window in terms of the result is pass. Okay, again what is pass, what is fail, we will come to that a little bit later. What is the magic that we did over here? Very simple. If you make a name change of a window in the script, you must make the same change in the inc file also. That means include or frame. Frame or include meaning it has window declarations in it. Without that window declarations in proper way, your script will not run. Pretty much like if object repository is messed up, QTP will not run. Same way in silk test also. If INC file is not correct, it will not run. Is this clear? Again, you can download this silk from Borland site. This is a Borland product. Previously it was a Segway software, now it is Borland. You can download it, the free evaluation copy and then start using it. Okay. Is this clear? Can you please raise your hands? Great. Let us go to the finer level of this also. 
Right now, if I go to this window, this INC file, it has got only this uh, right window dialog box of notepad window font and replace. Whereas the find window, okay, for example, if I type something and then say find window, the window definition of this up, down, cancel, find, next, this is not available in this one. So how can I add that information here, okay? Pretty much like in QTP, you can learn the windows and then store it in the repository. Same way, here, if you go to record, there is something called recording the test case, there is something called window declarations recording. So if you click on window declarations, right, there is a window declarations right here. The moment I move the mouse, it is showing you a window, okay. If I move here, it shows that window declarations. If I move here, it shows this window declarations. And you have to press Control-Alt. If you see here, Control-Alt to pass tracking. So I go to this window, and then I say Control-Alt to pass. Now you could see for everything, there's a caption, there's a prior text, which is like attached text, the index or the window ID. Now it is taking the caption and this window ID for everything, right? Now you could see within this dialog box find, I could see a static text, I could see a text field, I could see a checkbox. Everywhere you could see that text and then the ID also, right? You could see the dollar symbol as well as the text. Now if I say copy to or paste to editor, if I say paste to editor, now I say close, right? You could see over here that window declaration now has come to this inc file, inc file. Unfortunately, in silk test, there is nothing like a great graphical user interface. Uh, apart from the running and uh, recording for the test, for the scripting, for the object repository or the frames, it is purely text. Everything is a text. Nothing is like a GUI. That's uh, one way many people like that. Uh, a set of people do not like that, but uh, I'm happy with either way, as long as the information is there. Previously, this window find was not here in this window. The moment I went to this record window declarations and then recorded, it also came. Now I cancel this. There is a new window called the about notepad, right? This is a new window. I want to bring, right? Uh, I want to bring this window definition also back, okay? How do I do that? Same trick, record, window declaration, this comes over again, now I move over the mouse, then I press control, alt, okay? When I say control, alt, it stops, I simply say, just watch. As of now, this about notepad window is not here. The moment I say paste to editor, that comes to this one, right? So if you want to bring new window information to the frame or INC file, all you need to do is record window declarations, bring it to the INC file. After you bring it to the INC file, if you want to make any changes, you have to change in that, you have to change in the script also. It is not enough if you change in script but not in INC file. You have to make changes in both the places, correct? This is very, very important, okay? Is this clear? Good.